the member from Windsor West. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Education. The minister claims that the potential closure of schools offering specialized supports has nothing to do with money. She even went so far as to say that it's for the sake of the children. Speaker, why don't we let the children have a say in what's best for them? A student at Trillium School said, please don't let the Liberals close my school. The school gives people like myself hope. Hope that we can get a job, hope that we can get an education so we can live a happy life. The closure of Robarts School for the Deaf or Amethyst School, both in London, would leave students in southwestern Ontario with nowhere else to turn. Will the Minister of Education listen to parents, education workers, and most of all, students, and commit to keeping all specialized provincial and demonstration schools open? Thank you, Minister of Education. Yes, thank you very much. And I do want to reinforce that we are, in fact, committed to the success of all our students. That includes those who are deaf and hard of hearing and those who have severe learning disabilities. And we are reviewing the programs for those students. And part of that is we are going around and we actually are speaking with parents and students because we do want their input. But it's also true, Speaker, that uh, we updated the deaf definition of learning disabilities a few uh, years ago. We've updated the Provincial Policy Program Memorandum on Learning Disabilities, but we never actually reviewed how we, uh, how we would deliver the programs in our own provincial schools for children with severe learning disabilities. So, of course, we're having a look Answer. at the programs to make sure that we are providing the best service possible for all students with severe learning disabilities. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. It's unfortunate that the Deputy Premier was laughing through my question, considering both schools named are in her city. Ontarians are tired of hearing this government find any excuse to force schools to close. Now they're even suspending enrollment at specialized schools to build their case. Wow. My office has been inundated with emails from parents wondering why specialized demonstration schools are being told not to let any more children in if the government is only consulting. Yep. Usually you consult first before you make decisions that impact some of our most vulnerable kids. Students are emailing me devastated that schools designed to help them succeed could be shut down. Brutal. Families deserve more access to quality education, not less. So I ask again, will the Minister of Education ensure that no provincial or demonstration schools will be closed as a result of the consultations? Well, and of course, the process that we are going through right now is a consultation. We are talking to parents and students, and no decisions have been made at this point. But what I can certainly say is that I agree with one thing that you said, which is we need to ensure the best special education services for all students. And that's exactly what we're looking at, is how do we provide the best special education services for all children. That is my commitment. Thank you. 